Through a wide range of mediums, art has given us a way to communicate when regular conversation won't suffice. A way of sharing our perspectives, behaviors, experiences, emotions, and sufferings, trying to find purpose in it all, and ideally, help us stay a little more sane and connected in this strange, chaotic world. Every so many years, the world seemingly hits a period of rapid development in which its conditions change so significantly, generations but a couple decades apart can barely recognize each other. Over the past few decades, arguably, the world hit one of, if not its singular greatest and most significant growth period ever, the age of the internet. With the creation and commonplace use of the internet, an entirely new condition of the world would unfold. The modern person would now have new interests, new behaviors, new perspectives, and new problems. Access to constant information has flooded the individual. Instant gratification is now the standard. Attention spans have dropped to an extreme low. Meaning and order is increasingly subjective and difficult to find. The individual, especially that of slightly younger generations, is now left somewhat disoriented as they lead the trail through the uncharted territories of a new, virtually integrated landscape. This new order of the world has countless effects on our experiences of life, many of which are being studied and discussed. One area, however, that is rarely talked about, yet especially interesting, is how we have adapted to express and share meaning through media and art. Art does and has always withheld a fairly loose interpretable definition that allows it to move in a constantly evolving world and still remain relevant and effective. A generally standard definition of art is the use of creative imagination to produce work that expresses certain meanings and ideas, typically with the intention of aesthetic beauty and or emotional potency. This definition leaves a good amount up to the individual. It's almost as if art's definition is a bit of an artwork itself. However, arguably, what makes something art is less about what it is and more about what it does and how it interacts with the world around it. Traditionally, art has promoted the good aspects of life and humanity, pointed out and often ridiculed the bad, and expressed the funny, weird, somber, and often dark realities we all share but rarely talk about. Arguably, art is art so long as its reason for being art can be properly contextualized or defended by either the creator or consumer. And that's what we're going to do here for a strange newly developing art form within the 21st century known as memes. Admittedly, right off the bat, it might sound foolish to consider or discuss memes with any level of seriousness. To hold a crude image with text on it next to that of a beautifully constructed painting might perhaps sound like an insultingly far reach. And by no means does this essay intend to discredit the beauty and talent found in any work of art. However, it does intend to say that the nature of art permits such a claim, and in such a claim, interesting insight into our weirdly changing modern world can be found. Rewind about a century to the early 1900s. Marcel Duchamp was an artist associated with the Dadaism movement, which was a movement of art that expressed the early idea that the world is without centralized reason, but rather it is an absurd and irrational world. In 1917, Duchamp created an art piece called Fountain, which was essentially just a urinal he purchased from a plumbing store. At first, it was rejected when he attempted to exhibit it as art, but some time after, it would become accepted and redeemed as an ingenious and highly influential piece of its time. In this piece, Duchamp begged the question of what art could be and whether or not it had to be made by the artist or if it could be merely a recontextualization or addition to what already existed. Fast forward a few decades. The movement of pop art would take form in the US and UK during the late 1950s in response to the lack of cultural relevance that traditional fine arts had in the newly changing post-World War II era. In similar respects to the Dadaism movement, the pop art movement made art out of simple everyday objects or famous figures found within culture. Pop art borrowed objects and people from essentially any source, recontextualized them, and then distributed them as an accessible piece of art for everyone to take part in on a mass scale, bridging the gap between high and low art, showcasing the wonder, value, humor, foolishness, and relatability that can be found and shared in everyday life. It is fair to argue that in many ways, memes follow this idea. Like Dada art, pop art, and several other art forms of recent history, memes make use of everyday objects and people and culture. These items and people are then recontextualized and distributed freely across the internet for anyone and everyone to partake in and share personal meaning, relevance, and experience through. In a postmodern culture where meaning is derived increasingly from individual experience, focused through and onto the internet, we are perhaps experiencing a sort of strange development of a postmodern digital art based on shared participation. A reasonably current and standard definition of memes are an element of culture passed from person to person with the aim of conveying a particular phenomenon, theme, or meaning, specifically through the internet. 
Over the last couple decades, memes have emerged out of increasing internet use and participation. What started as media shared on message boards or more secluded corners of the internet would begin to spill over into the commonplace of culture as social medias would begin to unfold around the year 2004. As a result, memes began to acquire a factor of general relatability and intrinsic social value. Meme formats known as Rage Comics, Image Macros, and Me IRLs shared sentiments about personal experience and ideas related to modern life. In most cases, memes would contain a visual image, video, or GIF, which would indicate a type of commentary, theme, idea, or phenomenon associated. Today, a plethora of meme formats, characters, and means of distribution come in and out of popularity as they permeate across the internet and into culture. Memes all have their own touch but remain fundamentally the same, an expression of ideas, experiences, and phenomena through media, just like that of art. So who cares? Why does this development of memes matter or have any relevance? Well, it's clear that the modern world has created an entirely new condition for the individual. We are becoming increasingly addicted to the internet and social media and consequently share in the problems that the internet has dealt us. Generally, we now have an artificially modified sense of connection and sociability, making us feel somewhat alienated from the world and the people around us. We are hyper aware of the conditions of the world and thus find it rather chaotic, absurd, and void of any clear meaning. We share in an increasing sadness, anxiety, and aimlessness, and we have less patience for things that don't give us the point within a fairly short amount of time, making it harder and less appealing to engage in things of long form. Arguably, memes are but another evolution and offshoot of art that serves to satisfy our inherent and remaining human need to share, express, and derive connection from our problems, experiences, idiosyncrasies, and perspectives in a world where it is increasingly hard to do so through traditional methods. Like art movements of the past, memes are a reflection of the modern world's conditions. Through no fault of our own, the use of internet and social media has rendered us wanting things faster, easier, and more direct than ever. Essentially, memes are art without the mystique and without the barrier to entry. Where, instead of hiding the point, it literally writes it on itself. Where, instead of requiring aesthetics or traditional craft, it merely requires some amount of honesty, humor, and access to the internet where instead of an exclusivity in the sharing of media on a mass scale, just about anyone can participate and experience moments of fame and virality. In 1968, world famous pop artist Andy Warhol accurately predicted this one saying, in the future, everybody will be world famous for 15 minutes. Like art of the past, memes serve to provide us with a conduit or connection point through which we can engage in and share our cultural and human experiences in a way that is creative, digestible, and honest. Like art, memes can show us the absurdity and funniness of our existence, the things we should pay attention to, the things we should critique about ourselves and our culture, and how foolish, interesting, dark, beautiful, confused, scared, and similar we often are in even the simplest components of our daily life. It's important to recognize that it's not as if traditional art has been replaced or removed by any stretch. Art of all forms remains popular, valuable, and enjoyed by a great many, as it should be. Higher art continues to hold a mystique and aesthetic beauty that memes, of course, lack entirely. But it is also important to recognize that perhaps memes are becoming increasingly relevant and telling about the conditions of media, art, and modern life. However silly or trivial it may seem, every meme is a little window into today's world. An expression of anger, frustration, confusion, sadness, hopefulness, and humor that reflects what is happening in the internet world that exists around it. Just how art of the past is looked back on and studied in order to understand the associated historical errors, this current internet age will almost certainly be studied and understood through websites, social media platforms, YouTube channels, and memes. Writers will be video essayists and bloggers. Celebrities will be Instagram celebrities. Filmmakers will be YouTube creators. Movements and cultural phenomena will be understood through viral videos, prevailing meme characters, popular hashtags, and so on. What are now mostly seen as foolish jokes, videos, characters, images, or trends will, at some point, carry social cultural insight into how the world responded when the internet first started to envelop life and how we attempted to stay connected, reflective, and human within it.